Hey everybody, Scott Lindemann here, firefighter, station 7B, Tucson Fire Department. Today we're going to be making you some Greek vegetables. So for today's meal, we're going to start off by preparing our uh, mixed vegetables. Uh, the way I do this for uh, this meal is I do uh, a cucumber for every two people, a tomato per person that I'm cooking for, and then always two red onions because if you have leftovers, who cares? So we'll go ahead and start off by uh, quartering our either English or Persian cucumber. I like those just because they, uh, I think they taste a little bit better and they come in a nice cellophane wrap. So don't even have to worry about washing them. Although you should probably wash your produce. So we'll get our cucumbers going. We'll quarter those up. Uh, we've already got some of our tomatoes diced up, but we're just gonna do a maybe a quarter inch thickness on our tomatoes. Roma's tomato are what I usually use for this meal, but you can really use whatever you'd like. So we'll get those tomatoes in with the others here. And then just a kind of a normal size chop on your onions. Again, I usually use about one, one and a half diced onions for this uh, Greek fedible. So we've got our vegetables diced up. We're gonna mix those all in a large mixing bowl. Our tomatoes, one per person, cucumbers, one for two people, and then one diced onion. And then we're going to stir those up. After you get them mixed a little bit, uh, I like to usually season these with a little bit of red wine vinegar, uh, or if you don't have that, some Italian dressing, which I actually use on the, the marinade as well. So we've got some zesty Italian Kroger. Got to shop affordable at the firehouse. So a little bit of uh, Italian dressing. Mix that up for some flavor. Salt and pepper to taste. And uh, we're good to move on to the next step. So next up, we're gonna make our sauce for the Greek Fedibles. Uh, I like to use sour cream or non-fat Greek yogurt. So take start off, because we're at the station. Again, we're using a large tub of non-fat Greek yogurt. Just pour that into your bowl. The more, the better. You can use this sauce on a lot of different meals, so if you have leftover, not a big deal. So got our yogurt in there. I like to start by watering it down just a little bit so it's more of a sauce consistency or a cream consistency as opposed to the thick yogurt. So we're gonna add a little bit of water there. And this is all to preference, so add as much or as little as you'd like just to kind of soften up that yogurt. Uh, you don't have to add too, too much because we're also gonna add some lemon juice, fresh squeezed, and that's gonna help uh, that consistency as well. So I like to start off with at least two lemons halved. Watching out for the seeds. Don't want anybody to choke, but if you have to choke, this is a good spot to do it. All right, so we've got our lemon. We're gonna mix that up in there. Again, at this point, you can add, add some more water. You can't really take it away at that point, but add some more water if you want a, a little more creamy. Then we're gonna take our minced garlic. Uh, this is fresh minced garlic. You can use store-bought pre mince that's a lot easier, especially around if you're gonna get a call. It's a lot easier to have that pre-done. It's having to do it yourself. So we're gonna do a couple, uh, probably like three or four cloves of minced garlic in there. And then I like to finish it up with uh, some of my Turkish spice that I use on the chicken as well. Um, you can pre-buy Turkish spice at the store or you can make it. The big ingredients that are kind of different than most, you're gonna have uh, mint, cloves, and cinnamon. Uh, that go in there. So if you don't have those three things at home, you may want to pick them up. You can Google uh, Turkish spice recipes and the first couple that pop up there are fantastic on Google. So we've got our feta, an entire pack can go in there. And again, stir that up, add salt and pepper to taste and we are good to go. So there we go is the final product. So we've got our sauce done. Now is onto the chicken. 
So today we're using, you can use chicken breast, today we're using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Uh, what I like to do earlier in the shift is trim the chicken, toss in a bowl uh, with a mixture of Italian dressing, some water, and some of that Turkish spice we had talked about earlier. Let that sit for a couple hours and then about 30 minutes before I throw it on the grill, I'll bring it out, bring it closer to room temperature, and then throw it on the grill. So I guess we can head out and that's what we'll do next. Here we go. chicken is off the grill now. We're just gonna dice it up. Last step and then we are ready to eat. All right and so there you have it. Your Greek feta bowl with an option of a Greek filled feta pita. Uh, for those of uh, you who don't like rice but still want your carbs. And uh, yeah that's it. Thanks for cooking with us. Thank you.